This is the very picturesque village of Kaisersberg in the stunning wine and fruit growing region of Alsace at the border of Germany. Fruit trees abound in this stunning agricultural landscape and farmers have a long tradition of making clear fruit spirit. Massenet, a family-owned company in the Alsatian village of Ville, is a distillery of quality and makes a delicious variety of eau de vie and liqueurs. I am fascinated to learn from the manager Bernard Beau how fermented fruits can be transformed into such flavorsome spirits by going through the genius system of an alambic steel. Massenet is a petite distillery founded in 1870 and that continues its savoir faire, like the haute couture française, around the eaux de vie de fruits, the crème and the liqueurs. Until recently, all those liqueurs were consumed mostly as a digestive at the end of meals, but now they are much in demand for the creation of fruity gourmet cocktails. I could not resist the invitation to a cocktail masterclass by Pierre Bouer, a creative barman. Et donc là, on met 300 litres donc de poire William. 300 litres de poire William. Donc là, il faut aller aux trois quarts. D'accord. Deux de crème de mur. C'est un peu plus que deux. Ouais. Oh, ça ira, c'est pas grave. C'est bon Allez. Et puis après, donc, du coup, 800 litres de cranberry. Donc deux fois. Hop. Et voilà. And now you shake it up. Olé It is a winner. And the alcoholic level of this lovely drink is about the same as half a glass of wine. It's really delicious, exotic, fruity. And nicely alcoholic. This attractive red fruit gratin with a Pear Williams liqueur is an outstanding dessert. First, I place some raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and pieces of strawberry in four individual gratin dishes. Next, I drop two egg yolks in a bowl over a hot bath. I add 30 grams of caster sugar and two tablespoons of the delicious pear liqueur. Then I beat this preparation until light and foamy. Then, away from the heat, I fold in half a cup of whipped cream. In order to keep this preparation very light, I mix the cream very gently. I spoon the creamy mixture over the fruits and dust with icing sugar. Then put the dessert under the grill for a few minutes until the top is lightly golden. I love to garnish this luscious gratin de fruits rouge à l'eau de vie de Poire Williams with a little bunch of red currants. Yum! The pâtisseries of Alsace are very distinctive. This kugelop, a yeast cake cooked in a special mold, is a great breakfast treat. Local pâtissier Thierry Mullaup has created this beautiful butter cake with some raisins marinated in the local beer. A great creation. Tomorrow I discover the specialties of Franche-Comté with a talented chef of this charming region.